Good morning and welcome to today's convos and coffee. Today we're still diving into our healthy habits and I'm actually so excited, so, so, so excited for today's. Um, but first off, I want to say like how much I love this series. Um, it, and, I, and I really, really hope that uh, each of you who are watching this um, and each one that has come out so far that you're really soaking in each episode. Um, the beautiful thing about Christians is we're called to maturity and we can only grow in our maturity if we're willing um, and open to be wrong and or to grow in, in different areas that God is calling us to. And so uh, today's Confidence and Coffee is such a crucial one. Um, it might not feel super urgent in today's society, um, but it is so crucial um, to the calling and the purpose of every single uh, believer, and not just your pastor, but for you to actually live out. And let's read some scripture and then dive in. And uh, before I get to it, let's see if you can guess what I'm talking about before I tell you. All right, so let's go to Matthew 28. Um, 16 to 20, um, the little precursor is the Great Commission, starting at verse 16. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had them to go. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Some doubted, interesting. Um, then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has be been given to me. Therefore, Go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. Surely I am with you always to the end of age. So <laughs> if you haven't guessed it, today we're talking about sharing your faith. The Great Commission uh, Matthew 28, this is so big, so foundational for Christians um, to grasp. And one of the last commandments and the last instructions that Jesus gave to his disciples before um, he left them was to go forth and make disciples of every nation, every tongue, every land, every person that they came in contact with. Jesus empowered them to, uh, to go forward, to live out the good news uh, of Jesus' birth, death, resurrection, and ascension. And knowing this, that they knew that this changed everything. They knew that the gap between man and God had been covered by the blood of Jesus. And um, it's such a perfect gift that Jesus radically changed um, the realities of the world and how we can relate to God, how we can have a relationship with God, that everything was from old to new. And this was something worth sharing to the whole world. And Jesus encourages his disciples to go out and, and to spread the good news of the gospel. And something I love, I think it's so beautiful, um, is that Jesus talked about how in all authority, uh, was given to him and then he said after reminding them that they need to go out into the world and, and make disciples um, and share their faith and encourage those around them to to consider and experience god for themselves um, that he would be with them to the very end of age meaning <laughs> until we're called back to heaven and so it's really um beautiful and uh, such a good reminder for us right now in this season of 2022 and the world is changing. And um, if you're a little bit older, you've seen the drastic change in society. And, and you and I both know that the world, need the world needs Jesus. The world needs the love of a savior. Um, and we as disciples, of Jesus, of his believers, are now challenged to do the same. We're challenged um, as a believers, as a commandment, not an opt-in suggestion. This isn't an add-on in your insurance plan, uh, but this is something that is more important than ever, is that we must share our testimony, 
our story, our heart. What is God speaking to us? We must live out this radical love that Jesus lived out for us and so that we can impact the people around us for the kingdom of God because what God did for us how he redeemed us, how he gave us purpose, how he gave us calling. He wiped away our sins. He called us worthy. He said, you are victorious because I died on behalf of you. We need to now encourage those around us to experience that. Some people will never get to know the name of Jesus if we don't open our mouths. In a world that doesn't know God, we need to be the love and the light of Christ to those around us by requirement, by requirement of Jesus. And as as beautiful as this is, and as scary as it might be to open your mouth and to share your faith to your coworker who doesn't know God or to your family member that is closed off and doesn't wanna talk about it, or to your friend who might not um, yet know or have a personal relationship with God. Um, Acts 1 verse 8 says, but you will, you will, underline that in your Bible, receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And God will empower you. If you've accepted Jesus, the spirit man has been awakened up inside of you and he will empower you to share your faith. And so I want to challenge you, Bethel family, uh, for the next week, seven days, starting today or tomorrow, I want you to tell one person who isn't a devoted Christian a part of your story every day. So seven people, one person a day. I want you to share something about Jesus, about the good news, about your story to one person every single day for the next week. And I want you to see how God can use you. I want you to see that God will empower you, that he will give you courage, he will give you strength when you don't think it's possible. So take one moment, five minutes, once a day for seven days and share your story to somebody who might not know him. And let's see what seeds God will plant through you sharing your testimony. All right, Bethel family, love you lots. And remember, you belong.